Hey guys, how you doing today? Another weekly vlog is here. Uh, today is Friday, March 31st, and uh, yeah, been an interesting week. Um, trying out some new games on the stream and doing a few other things and looking for those topics of discussion that, uh, that we should have. Um, I think a good one for this week is going to be feedback and how to gain feedback and why it's important uh, for content creation or, or actually almost anything that you're creating um, in life. Feedback is important as long as it's constructive feedback. Um, I think that's going to be the key is, is to ensure that, um, you know, we, we are focused on constructive feedback, um, not the trolly, you know, you suck feedback. That is not feedback. That is criticism or insult or just general trolliness, which none of us really need. And it really serves no benefit. So for this little vlog, I'm going to keep everything focused on feedback. Um, so what is feedback? First and foremost, in my opinion, uh, feedback is a way to understand how your content is reaching the audience and their ability to digest it and take it back and it allows them an opportunity to speak their mind as well as to what they're listening to watching experiencing etc and i think that's important you have to have that give and take but a lot of times feedback isn't feedback doesn't come easily unless it's critical feedback um, usually it's a lot easier to point out what you're doing wrong versus what you're doing right um, the reason being is I think we're, we're kind of, well, they should know what they're doing right, but I need to tell them what they're doing wrong. And I think that's just how we are. I think throughout our lifetime, I can guarantee you that we're told no more than we're told yes, if that makes sense. Um, so I think it's just easier for us to, and it's not necessarily being negative, it's not necessarily going out of your way to, to harm or hurt the person that you're giving feedback to. I think it's just easier to go down that slope than climb up the positivity one, right? So I think that's one of the things that you have to look at. A lot of times when you, when you get feedback, it really focuses only on things that could be improved. And I think that's where a lot of people get discouraged because they're like, oh man, like I, I work so hard on this project and all I'm getting are complaints where that's not necessarily true there there's a lot of positivity there and um it's just not being brought out um and if you do get positivity it's usually good stuff love it you know not really i mean it is positive but i don't want to i don't want to downplay that i think it's amazing to get any type of positive feedback even if it is like awesome um but you have to make sure that you don't get blinded by potentially constructive, you know, criticisms versus lack of positivity, because it is there. It's just kind of buried underneath. And sometimes you got to fight and you got to push and you got to dig and you really got to engage your audience and, and almost maybe in some instances demand it. Say, I want feedback. I need feedback. Give me feedback. Where can I improve? Where do things need to be better? Because like anything, if you're left to your own devices, sometimes your content can suffer. Sometimes things can cannot go the way that you want them to go. And I know I certainly beat myself up for that. You know, I'm one of those people. I like feedback. I like being validated in what I do. And, and when I don't get any feedback, much like I was saying earlier, I've slipped down that slippery slope of negativity. And I'm thinking, oh, well, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this wrong. Scrap this, change this. And then what you end up doing is you end up leaving your audience confused. And I know, I'm, I think I've done that a number of times and I think I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I think that's just how we evolve and, and hopefully, you know, your audience is, uh, is willing to, to, you know, hang on for that ride. Um, now, obviously there's a, a multitude of reasons why feedback is important. It kind of helps govern your direction. Your audience is like the board of directors to a, to a corporation. Um, without an audience, what you're creating only has meaning to you. If you were to paint the most beautiful painting 
in the world and then lock it away in your basement, nobody's going to be able to share that experience with you. And I think that's where feedback is. But, you know, it has to be tuned um, in such a way that everybody gets it or at least gets part of it. Um, you know, it, it, sometimes what you're trying to do is, is the message is being read differently by different people. And it's how you help tune it and pinpoint it. So you're reaching not only the people that you want to reach, um, but they're reaching back to you. And I think that's, you know, that you have to have like 360 degrees of kind of a continual circle of evolution for, for what it is that you're creating. And I think that's really the most important thing is uh, feedback are the flexible boundaries that guide your path. And I think it's important to have some boundaries in what you're doing because that's what keeps you in check. That's what gives you a bar. And then you know if you're above or below that bar. Um, feedback's hard to get though. And I think that's the biggest challenge that I've always faced. I'm, I'm literally on my hands and knees begging for comments and begging for feedback. And, and when, yet when you look at things, they're blank. Um, no one person is responsible for that. I don't hold any ill will towards anybody for that. But it's still kind of, eh, you know, is it even worth doing what I'm doing? Should I continue doing it? And, you know, when it comes down to the views, I think if, if three people look at what I do and they, they like it or they at least watch it and acknowledge it, I think my point's been made. I think that's exactly where, where I want to be. I don't, I don't, I'm not grasping for stardom and I don't think a lot of people are when, when they get into content creation. I think what they're actually trying to do is they're just trying to reach out and connect with people that, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, they would never have the ability to reach out and connect with. I mean, it's amazing that you can put something out there and it's on out there on a global scale. And hopefully it's something that everybody can enjoy and everybody can take something back from and, uh, you know, maybe makes their life a, a little bit better. Maybe that, you know, you are able to connect, talk about a problem, talk about a, you know, a failure, talk about a victory, talk about a success. And these are all the kinds of things that, that, that we have to go through. But feedback is important on that journey. It's an important aspect of what you need in order to get to where you need to go. Um, Feedback is the grease or the oil that lubricates the gears of creativity as far as I'm concerned. And so that's one of the things that's really important. If you're a content creator, whether you're streaming, whether you're creating videos, whether you're creating blogs, whether you're creating all three um, or even something different, uh, music, uh, uh, interpretive dance, I don't know. Um, but feedback is important. That's why, you know, when in a competition, there's judges that hold up the little scorecard. Um, it's because there's a reason for that. Um, and that's what gives you, that's what tells you where you stand in the grand scheme of what it is you're trying to do with whatever media you're trying to do it with. Um, this is why people clap or boo at a performance, right? It's just how it kind of goes. But um, don't be afraid to ask for it. Don't be afraid to demand it. Now, I don't mean like bang your fist on your desk and shout at your audience and say, if you don't give me feedback, I'm going to ban you from whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, that's not going to get you anywhere either. That will get you some feedback and probably feedback that you don't want. Um, what you really need to do, though, is you need to, number one, Make people understand that they don't need permission to give you feedback, um, that you actually encourage it, that you that you want it. Hopefully you want it uh, and for all the right reasons and that, you know, that you you you're learning from it um, and that, you know, you appreciate it. And I think that's one of the most important things, you know, give feedback to those who give you feedback. Say thank you. Say, you know, if, if somebody leaves a comment. You know, especially when you're small, like like a little guy in the grand scheme of things like myself, you know, when you're only getting one or two comments, it's not that difficult to reach out and say, hey, thanks. Awesome. You know, or yeah, I totally get where you're coming from with that. And I'll make those changes. I'll make it red instead of blue, you know. Um, and if you ask a question and people are giving you answers, you're not there to argue with them. You're there to 
understand where they're possibly coming from because maybe they like red more than blue or they like blue more than red you know those types of things anyways guys just to summarize everything so you know feedback is one of those things that should be sought after um you define the scale in which how much or how little of it that you want um make sure that you focus on the constructive feedback the the trolls and you know the other things that you may come across uh, hopefully you don't have to um, make sure you're able to block that out. And I, I always take a very, just delete it and move on. Um, there's, there's not much you can do about it. Um, appreciate the feedback that you do get and make sure that you talk to your, the people that are providing that feedback and give them feedback, you know, that, that you, you know, of all those other four things and that's where you stand. And I think that's going to help keep that 360 degrees of creativity moving, you know, and I think that's what helps drives us forward. I think that is a, uh, a an important aspect there. So guys, that's going to be it. I'm looking at the clock. I'm done for time. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.